Greetings. I'm a Dragon Alchemist, and allow me to entertain you. I am once again playing Fallout 4, where I am on my way to the Vimpot Factory to obtain a pump regulator. Thing is, the pump regulator is guarded by a bunch of super mutants, and that causes problems on its own. As does the sudden turning off of the music. That was rather abrupt. What? What is this? What is this doing out here? That was rather odd. Just a safe in the middle of the road. I'll avail myself to the goodies, but that's still a bit of a mystery. Looks like it was just buried out here. Now this is one of those moments where I wish I had some artillery available for this. I know there's super mutants in here, and the chances of there being friendlies anywhere near the area are exceptionally remote. See if there's any guards on the bridge. Now look around and make sure that my approach is clean. I also gotta make sure for mines. They sometimes plant mines. A bridge is a perfect place to plant mines, incidentally. Oh, boring. Oh, it's not gonna be boring in a moment. Oh, I hate oh. it when that happens. I finally figured out why that cancels. Apparently, if you charge it up right- oh. Right as you- uh, pardon me for a moment. Reload and heal. Okay. Now I'm thirsty. Did I bring any water? Did I- I, I must have forgotten to bring water. I did. Bloody hell. Any case, the reason why my charge shots cancel out is apparently if I charge it up as I'm pulling it out, it technically does not count. Which is annoying. But at least now I know why that happens. And I can account for it if need be. Not touching those. Well, I'll take the Buscus, but that's it. And there's gonna be more super mutants inside. I'm hoping that there's. Well, I'm gonna give this Vim Pop a taste, and hopefully, I'm finding an untainted source here. Fear if it's gonna help, it's gonna Always caffeinate to me. Hound! Hound! Oh, and I made some changes to Deliverer. If you notice a small green glow, that's because I've modified it to shoot plasma rounds. Well, not plasma rounds per se. Well, technically, they use the regular 10 millimeter, but they are plasma infused. I installed the mod Weaponsmith Extended, which dramatically changes some of the weapons around a bit. Gives me a few more options on how I want to build up my weapons. Unfortunately, the energy weapons are a bit left out. I'd installed it hoping to do a few changes to them, but nope, it's just the ballistic weapons. I'll do a little bit of looting. Ah, them. Why? You've got Vim. Where'd he go? He's probably inside. K 
Okay, crossing an open field like this is a terrible idea, but it's not like he's coming out to meet me. I can smell you out there. Ah, he I missed me. He missed me, which is perfect for me. No more, for you. no more life for you. Oh, give me a moment while I get some cover. Wow, you're tough. Not that tough, though. Give me those fusion cells. Yeah, they have their own little hearth. Pity is a giant fire hazard. This place is a. Why isn't this place burned down yet? Look at this mess. That's a computer terminal on fire. How is that flammable? And why isn't this on fire? This place is all backwards. I'm calling the fire department. Tell them they're not up to code. Or reality. Come on, open. What is in this cash register? Nice. Eh, a few rounds. Money. Ooh, he had a minigun. He did not get to use it, though. Which is perfectly ac acceptable to me. Do I want to take it? Not particularly. I think the area is secure. Steadfast 5.56 millimeter hunting rifle. This is the uh, Weaponsmith Extended that I was talking about. This rifle is chambered for 5.56. And 50% resist damage resistance while aiming. Ooh, very nice. If I was the sort to use that sort of weapon, I'd use it extensively. It'd give me a lot more damage resistance. But, as I'm not... Uh, oh dear. Considering these bodies are bloody red, these deaths were recent. Very recent. The super mutants have been busy. Which is all the more reason to clear them out. You know what? I'm gonna try this Vim stuff out. If it helps satisfy my thirst, that's actually very good. It also weighs one. Okay. I feel the caffeine in my veins. I am peckish from lack of food. Oh. Oh dear. Apparently, it makes me hungry. Hmm. Never mind. Let's top off Gunslinger. I can now have a much better chance to disarm my opponents and may even cripple a limb. Most excellent. So now the deliverer, as I've set it up, uses... Still uses the 10mm, even though I had the option to change the ammo type, but I prefer the 10mm for what I'm going up against. The legendary... Uh, situation I've changed up a bit as well. It no longer does the VAT stuff. I mean, I appreciate the VAT stuff, but it's not exactly in my house. I instead change it to armor piercing rounds. I figured if I'm gonna do silenced headshots against opponents, if they're wearing a helmet, I want to make sure that helmet does nothing for them. Or at least does even less. And the plasma is because well, I like plasma. There's no long and short of it, I just like using plasma. I like laser, using laser weaponry more, but having a plasma option definitely helps. And I'm back here. I'm gonna check the ground floor first. Oh! Vim Factory. I guess this is the other way out. Fair enough, I suppose. I'm gonna go upstairs, clear that out. And then I'm gonna head downstairs. Anything in the bathroom? Ooh, yes, water fountain, please. Unfortunately, this water's irradiated. Yeah, but I'm thirsty. There we are. I can clear out the radiation later. I prefer not to have radiation, period, but I like having my helmet having a database installed. <laughs> uh, give me your lunch money, kid. 
And it's in the woman's bathroom. Maybe that says something. How am I gonna get up? How am I going to get up? I guess there's a staircase around here that I didn't spot. I don't know why there's a theater here. I suppose for product demonstrations. I may as well check out what's in this computer now. Vim Refresh. Ooh. And someone brought Nuka Cola for lunch in the Vim Pop factory. Some brand loyalty, huh? Eh, I can't blame ya. You like what you like. Tour Terminal. History of Vim presentation. Adult price, $40. Child price, $30. Group rate, 10 or more, $25. Covers the history of the company, the Reed family, and the unique following of the Vim beverage. Show shows start at 10 a.m., noon, 2 p.m., and 4 p.m. Run times, 45 minutes. 20% discount if purchased with Factory Tour Pass. Factory Tour and Tasting. Oi! Adult prices $70, child prices $60, group rate 10 or more $55. Guided tours of the Vim factory showing how the beverage is made, bottled, and shipped. Includes a taste test of current and in development drinks in the price. Tours run at 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m., and last approximately one hour. 20% discount if purchased with History of Vim Presentation Pass. Note, tour guides should review tour notes while guests are filing in, but should not read directly from Terminal. Ooh, I'm gonna like this. Probably not. Founded in 1931, Vim is one of the oldest soda pops in the country. Originally sold as a health tonic, it found widespread popularity for many years. Though it has been slower to reach a national audience than a certain brand, other brands, Vim is a state tradition, and may soon be named the official state drink. So, uh, still owned and operated by the Reed family, the building front you came in through is a recreation of the original factory, which burned down in 2026. If you will follow me to the theater, you can see a short film of the history of Vim. And then proceed to the theater. I'm wondering if this Vim thing is an actual real-life thing. I might have to look that up. Tour factory notes... Well, just tour notes number three. Note, wait for guests to congregate after 10 minutes break following the History of Vim presentation. Now that you've seen the History of Vim, you will soon begin the factory tour and tasting, where you can see how our beloved beverages are made and try out some of the new flavors we are currently developing. If you are not continuing with us on the tour portion, we welcome you to visit the gift shop next door for souvenirs. We are also now shipping internationally if you want to send a case of Vim home or to a loved one. For those of you just joining us or continuing with us on the tour, hard hats are required and we shall begin in five minutes. Hard hats. Just what sort of hazards are you going to be looking out for? This is obviously the gift shop, but this place has been ransacked long ago. Ah, there's the stairs. I don't know why I'm sneaking. If there was an enemy, they would have jumped on me by now. Ooh, what is that? Check the doors first, make sure I don't get bushwhacked. Let's see, some pork and beans. Quite a stick, I'll take that. I have no idea how it's still fresh after all this time, but I'm hungry. If it says it's good to eat, it's good to eat. Properly fed. Ooh, tar berries. I'm gonna need that. Let's see. Vim Refresh and Vim Captain's Blend. You know what? I'll just take it with me and then store it at my workshop later just as a souvenir. I wonder if this stuff is any different than Nuka Cola brand. Vim, Vim, Vim. Vim Captain's Blend. Sea creatures are more hesitant to attack you. Ooh. Oh. But it lowers my charisma. I suppose I'm out in the wilds. Charisma doesn't matter as much. But that is very interesting. Increased action points recovery rate. Ah. Ooh. Yes. I like what I see here. 
Unfortunately, this stuff makes me hungry, but that's the same as Nuka Cola, isn't it? Yeah, Nuka Cola Quantum. It caffeinates. This stuff doesn't caffe uh, caffeinate. But it's also not radioactive. Yeah. Nuka Cola has rads in it. The other stuff doesn't. Which is rather odd. Then again, maybe they use different manufacturing. Ah, there's a safe. There's a safe. I'm opening this up. Come on. Blast. There we are. Got it. More ammunition. Hmm. Anything in here? Does not appear to be. There's a computer terminal I can activate in this office. Just making sure I've checked everything else out. I'm guessing this is to the factory, right? No, this is a different door. Ooh. Yeah, the factory's to my left. That's it. What's in here? Ah, this is another way into the factory. Okay, I'm gonna be taking this route. Probably a little safer than taking the main route. The door's locked. They're probably not going to expect anyone to come through here. Ah, that's the roof. Them captain's plan, taking that, desk fan, and another safe. I suppose for a company yes. and a factory, you need this much security in case someone gets a little touchy-feely about the product. And start taking five-figure discounts. You want me to take a crack at that terminal? Nope, I got it, Nick. Madison's terminal. Ah, uh, I can't use it in the power armor. Bloody seats. You think I could push this seat away and use the terminal? But no, I have to get out. Nothing in build. Might be sling. Nothing in sling. It may be a car. There we go. User. Madison Young. Signed in. Schedule. Talk with Phyllis in manufacturing to sort out hazard pay. Update quarterly earnings report. Lunch with AC. Call Vernon Conroy at Nuka to set up meeting with board members. Call Sheriff's Department for update on Bar Brawl. Work on getting Iris to release the receipt for Captain's Bled. Meet AC at Bowling Alley. Interesting. Quarterly earnings report. Let me guess. Full of corruption, cooked books, and other stuff. Let's see. Start date... October 1st, 2077, gross income, not bad, taxes, ooh, heavy. That's about, that's almost a quarter of your profits out. Huh, corporate taxes must have been rather, oh, well, considering the history of America, I'd say that's actually standard rate. Payroll, rather cheap, production, yeah, that's gonna be where the heavy stuff is. So, same with distribution, marketing, and repairs. Net income, Wow, you guys are in the black. You're in the red. Deep in the red. Wow. Internal mail relay. I'm guessing that... D. Reed, how dare you? Miss Young, I don't care how many times the investors ask you to schedule a meeting with Nuka. My family is still the majority stockholder, and I am still the CEO. Vernon Conroy is a snake, and we will never work with Nuka. If you so... If you ever go by my back again to set up meetings with our competitors, your employment with Vim will be immediately terminated. Doyle Reed. I'm Mad Mason. Too st soon to start production. Madison. What the heck? Leroy. Put in... Uh, Leroy. Put down, uh, down in production. Said you were asking for the recipe for Captain's Blade to set up bulk ordering for production. He doesn't have the recipe because we haven't even finished half our cycle of tasting taste testing yet. I know it's testing well so far, but Doyle promised we wouldn't rush this out to market till we had time to refine it. You of all people know we can't afford to have this one fail. Iris Mad Mason. Hazard pay. You've got to be kidding me. How can you spend money on this big marketing push and not have money to pay our staff hazard pay? That was the third truck this... that was hit this week. I'm telling you, someone is out to get us, and I can't ask the guys to risk their safety for standard pay. All this marketing bullcrap doesn't amount to anything if the pop ain't on the shelves. Willis. Yeah, something's not... 
going right here. Loot that one out quick. Sounds like Nuka was trying to push their competitor out of the market using some of the less than legal tactics. Extra legal tactics, they make and call it. The usual corporate America these days. Ah, another terminal. And it's the marketing terminal. This might provide me some more information. Just want to check what's in the file cabinet first. And there's two more terminals. Yikes. This is going to be a giant information dump. Captain's plan. You know what? I'm going to leave some of this stuff behind. I'm going to take the bourbon and the vodka, but you can leave the whiskey. Hmm, teddy bears. Ooh, alarm clock. And there's a CEO's, CEO's terminal. Alright, let's check in marketing first, and then the CEO's terminal. Anything down here? No? Good. Out of the power armor. They all have seats in front of them. Let's see. Slide one. Likeness. Cannot be along. Cannot be applied. Maybe wrist. Not wrist. Hmm, what am I missing here? Might be prone. No, not might be prone. Some likeness to prone. So can't be vault. What am I missing? Is there a word I didn't see? Let's see. Not apply. Can't be wrist. Can't be prone. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing something here. Oh, my tries to reset. I can just go nuts now, though. I really could. So it's not slide. Sweet. Wait, it was a long. What the hell? Oh well. Internal mail relay. That's great news. God, Norman, you have no idea how much I needed to hear that this week. I was totally convinced after that issue with the bar fight that the governor was going to completely drop us from being the state beverage. I don't know how you managed to convince her to at least see how the case turns out, but it's better than nothing. When we get things t uh, turned around and go national, I'll make you, your wor hard work worth it. Doyle Reed. Have to delay TV ads. Norman, I know you don't want to hear this, but we have to cancel the TV ads till January. With the litigation, having to replace trucks and other machinery, and new investment falling through, we just don't have the funds available. You need to call and cancel the ads, or I'll have to get Mr. Reed to do it. Madison Young. Alex is being framed. Norman, I know you guys are trying to find a way to downplay the incident at the bar, but I'm telling you, Alex didn't do anything to that gal. We had three other guys there from the factory, and they saw the whole thing. He stood up to get a beer, and when he turned around, she socked him right in the eye. He didn't... He hadn't even gotten his vision straight when he punched her back. It, it was just reflex. He's former military. You can't... Oops, sorry. You can't blame him for that. Willis Rudd. The Taste of Maine. What the hell does that even mean, Norman? The Taste of Maine? What is it that you think Maine tastes like? You want me to put trees and fog in a bottle or what? Oh, I know. We'll put lobster and fiddleheads in there. They need a plaid shirt, too. I got you're, you're trying to push the local specialty thing, but come on. This is ridiculous. It's marketing. What do you expect? Marketing plans. Vim Ambassador. The Vim Ambassador program was going well for a while, but recently our staff have been having problems with crime. One of the suits of power armor that was stolen right off the truck. Another of our ambassadors ended up in a hospital after some gal at a bar apparently beat the hell out of him. He said that he couldn't have even spoken to her. He No, he said that he hadn't even spoken to her and she just cold clocked him out of the blue. But she told the reporter that he grabbed her. He's got witnesses that agree with him, but it's not paying well, playing well with the local news. Escape to Adventure. Rollout of the Escape to Adventure branding so far has met with very good success. Market studies are showing that 87% of test group subjects feel excited and intrigued by the print ads. 56% said that 
they will be likely to bottle, uh, buy a bottle of them after seeing these ads. We're still having trouble developing a name for the female figure, which could help an audience branding recognition. Casting is sold as well due to problems with finance. Captain's Blend. Taste Formula 10784, tentatively branded as Captain's Blend, has been a far bigger success than we could have imagined. Despite initial protests by the R&D department and a request for a drink that captured the taste of Maine, the test formula they developed seems to be very popular with tasters. Very strange considering the number one term used to describe the filler's flavor so far has been fishy. <laughs> Mr. Reed has still held back on a full rollout, but we have convinced him to try a regional tasting distribution. Testing distribution. Okay, my tongue's going everywhere right now. Think that we might be able to find the formula and start making some for ourselves. I wouldn't mind. Mass producing the stuff myself if it's gonna make everyone a little less prone to getting attacked by Mylarks and the like. Hmm, I wonder what they would have called their new marketing figure. Oh well. Now the CEO's terminal. This will be interesting. In store two likenesses. Outcome. One likeness. Hmm, what might it be? In acquire? Got it. Yes! It's happened! The air sirens went off. I've locked myself in my office, but the reports I've heard on the radio are not good. I can't imagine that he would attack here, but who knows th what the Chinese will do. Shit, I just heard an explosion outside the building. It can't be them. Why the hell would they attack a pot factory? Oh god, I've got to get out of here. Meeting with investors. Looks like I'm going to have to meet with the members of the board to clear up this takeover mess. I'm not going to let Nuka bully me into selling the company. We've already lost the trademark bottle on quor battle on quartz. We're probably going to have to cease sales of it by the end of the next year. I just need to get them to keep faith till we can get Captain Splint out and start shipping our drinks nationally. We've ma finally got everything nearly in place. We just need to get over the last few hurdles and we can comp compete on a large scale. Internal Mail Relay. M. Young. The investors called Conroy. Sir, I didn't mean to go around you. The other investors talked with Vernon Conroy and said they that after various financial troubles from the past year, that if we didn't at least schedule a meeting to discuss it with him, they might sell their stock to him directly. Even if he can get a 5% share, that would entitle him to a seat on the board, and you'd have to meet with him regardless. What did you want me to do, Madison Young? W. Run, we're being attacked. Mr. Reed, I know you told everyone in the monthly meeting that the troubles in distribution, as you put it, are just coincidences. But with respect, sir, you're wrong. This isn't just a random, a couple of random buggings or thefts. Our trucks have been stolen, shot up, our drivers jumped, even the machine technicians are reporting weird stuff. This isn't just bad luck. This is some kind of attack on the company. If you can't do something about this, we're going to have to, we're going to start losing staff. Captain's blend. Mr. Reed, I really can't believe that that people are actually li liking this Captain's Blend. I thought Norma was crazy when he asked me to put the taste on me in a bottle. I'm actually a little hesitant to share what's in the recipe yet, because I don't think you are going to believe it. We can do a limited release, but you really need to give us some more testing time before permanently adding it to the Vim lineup. Okay, I am really interested in what they put in this. And I'm going to be rather hesitant in actually drinking this stuff now. M. Young, another offer from Mr. Conroy. Mr. Reed, Vernon Conroy from Nuka called again today. He's upped the initial buyout offer by 5% and said he'll be sending copies of the offer letter to our investors if you don't start returning his phone calls. Are you sure you don't want to take the offer? Our finances have been in bad shape for years now, sir. I know you have a lot of family pride in the company, but would it really be the worst thing to work under the umbrella of Nuka? And Madison Young. Huh. Yep, there's a lot of intrigue here. A 
lots of it. And I'm only gonna find more of it as I go further into the company. It really does sound like there's... There was... A full-on corporate warfare. Uh, the CEO was right next to the terminal. Seriously? Talk about poor security. Then again, he did leave in a hurry. Can't blame him for that, I suppose. Okay. I think I am going to end the episode here. When we come back, we are going through that door into the factory. This is the way to the factory, right? No, that's the island. Whoops! My mistake. We're gonna go on the roof, then. In any case, I hope I have entertained you. Farewell.